Hello, I'm Charlie. I used to think military life just wasn't in the cards for me, but after I told my mom how interested I was in joining the Navy, Master Chief Santos called me up and told me there was an opening in the computer field. Well, actually, uh, all the branches called me up. <laughs> you know, it's like I always say, you can't join them all. <laughs> Second row, wake up. This is the military, and we have rules here. Look at this shitbag civilian. <laughs> is that a dip cup? Put that in the trash right now. Hey, you, no chewing gum in here. You, back row, quiet down. There's no talking in here. Get off that daggone cell phone, would you? Can't you all read? You're just breaking all the rules. Act like they own the place is so fucking stupid. <laughs> the staff here seems really friendly. <laughs> what is that? A Danish? Bring me that Danish. I mean, it must be really difficult having to work in a busy place like this having to enforce all the regulations. I think that rules and regulations are important. That's what the military is all about. You know, the Navy has a saying, honor, courage, commitment. You know, it's like I always say, if there's Hey, a... you, you gotta get moving along now. Oh, yeah. Orientation, move along. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And, and you young man, Come on, move along. So after the ASVAB, you will each undergo a basic medical examination. This is to ensure that you are up to the high standards of government service. Girl, once you get your final set up, it is easy money. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, it's a good way to earn extra cash and their products, oh my God, they're so cool. Look, look at this, check that out. That's one of their products, go ahead and take it. Wraps. <laughs> Excuse me, ladies. There is no talking during my presentation or I will disqualify you. Okay. So, the hearing test will take place after the anal exam. Place your four fingers of your right hand into the scanner, please. Next. It's really great how thorough the MEPS process is. After seeing all the precautions the staff takes, I know I'm going to be joining an elite organization. Good. Welcome to the U.S. Army. You're good to go, sir. The hearing test was probably the easiest for me. Sir, you need to put the headphones on. When I was young, I remember being able to hear my mom all the way from the guest house. She would have her guy friends over and... So we took the ASVAB next. Well, some of us. I took it about a year ago and I did pretty good. I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I, let's just say I got a 78. The level of high standards that the military demands is probably what challenges me most. What's the answer number three? I can't see why anyone would say that people who join the three? military are 13. dumb or underachievers. That's just flat out wrong. We are the select few worthy enough to serve our country. You know, it's like I always say. If you can't stand the heat, well then you're out of luck.
Next, I had to meet with Dr. Zaguli. Hello, Charlie. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. <sighs> Don't worry, son. I'm on your side here. How are you today? Uh, pretty good. Thanks for asking. Great, kid. That's just great. So I've got a couple stock questions for you here. So please be honest with your answers. Okay, yeah, it's like I always say, uh, honesty is the best policy. <laughs> Are you sexually active? Uh, uh. <laughs> How many men? Ever fantasized about older men sexually? And when was the last time you were checked? Oh, I'm clean. I was checked in 09. I'm good. Chang. Chang. Don't worry, Charlie. This is all part of the process. Remember that asthma can stay between us, okay? The next tests were a bit silly. They made us walk around like ducks. <laughs> but they were still taking things really seriously. I mean, what exactly could walking around like a duck prove? I don't know, but I'm sure there's a reason. Right. The peeing was very challenging. Uh, I... I wish they would have let me use the restroom by myself, but, you know, it's like I always say, when you're out in the mud, there's no place to go but up. All right, ladies, drop trow, it's time to piss. You're going to be graded on taste, color, volume, and accuracy. Finally, a speech test was given, and that part was easy peasy. Well, for most of us. S Sally? S S sells sausages? Seashells. Seashells. She sells seashells. Sally sells seashells. By the seashore? Sally see, sees, sees. Seashells. 
She sells seashells by the seashore, moron. S sells seashells by the sea. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? I'd probably kill my own mother just for the chance to put my penis between those big sloppy titties. So how's everything going, honey? Mm. Pretty okay. Oh, you forgot this in the car. Oh, Mom, put that away. I, I can't use that anymore. Plus, I don't think I need it. Oh, good. <laughs> so did everything go well with your medical exam? No, no, it didn't. You know, that Dr. Zaguli and his little Asian friend are so nice. Oh. Zaguli and Chang are fucking gay. Close up line, close up line. I couldn't be happier to make it through this process. Uh, all my hard work and determination is finally paying off. You know, I used to think that the military only accepted the truly elite, but I've come to realize that the military doesn't take only exceptional people. They take people who are willing to be exceptional. I've never been more <laughs> excited, hopeful, proud, and nervous. This is the start of a new chapter for me. The road will be hard and narrow, but I know I have the skills to take on whatever comes my way. You know, it's like I always say, you'll never know until you try. Has anybody seen my mom?
God damn it, Chain, I love you, but you gotta get your shit together. But nine high-class hookers to celebrate the integrity of the greatest infantry in the fucking world! One dash tall fox trot, take two, Mark. All right, now busting up. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. No coming yeah. in the hearing room. <laughs> How many men? Bob C. Eyes bigger. Look at the camera and smile. That's it. <laughs> I just want to go parasailing across those mountains she calls breasts. I just want to motorboat her. Just I would give up my eyesight just to see the color of her areolas. I heard you say something. <laughs>